Hey, what's up everybody? Collector John here. Hope everyone's doing well. So when I started working on this video, I had planned to make kind of an expose on how crappy Goodwill has gotten and how I just can never find freaking video games at Goodwill anymore. And I know that's pretty much no surprise to anyone. I think for most people, uh, most people trying to find video games at Goodwill just can't find video games at Goodwill anymore. Like for the past few years, that's been a pretty, uh, a pretty common thing for for most people trying to do that. But for myself, over the last few years, I've still been finding video games at Goodwill all the freaking time. I even made a video about it a couple months ago talking about how I found like $500 worth of video games at Goodwill. And that's been the case up until recently, like the last couple months or so, I really just haven't been finding anything at Goodwill. Uh, it seemed like maybe they'd finally started putting their games online and my Goodwills had really succumbed to the problem that all the other Goodwills are facing. There's not enough games coming in, there's too many people looking for games, the games that do come in are probably just getting put online anyway. And it seemed like the thing that's been happening with everyone's Goodwills has now been happening with mine too. But then I started actually filming this video, I went to a few Goodwills in my area just to see what I could find, and uh, I found a bunch of video games. Yeah, pretty much every Goodwill that I went to I found uh, something interesting there. Um, there was like a lot of stuff that I already had, so I wasn't just like picking up every video game that I found at these Goodwills. Um, but I was finding interesting stuff. And then the last Goodwill that we go to in this video, there was like a bunch of freaking expensive games there. <laughs> so I, I picked all of those up. And uh, I don't know, it was crazy. Like, it's crazy that uh, I planned to make a video about how crappy Goodwill has gotten. And then Goodwill just decided to come through for me in like the few days where I went out filming and uh, I found a bunch of stuff. So I don't know, that was that was real crazy and not what I was expecting at all. So yeah, if you guys wanna see some uh, fun game hunting at Goodwill, you've come to the right place and uh, we're gonna get into it now. We're gonna check out a few Goodwills in my area. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up at these Goodwills and uh, it should be a pretty good time. So yeah, stick around and let's get into it, baby. And here we are at our first Goodwill of the day. Uh, this Goodwill is about a mile away from my place, so I come here pretty frequently. Uh, but lately, they've really been slacking. They got rid of like half of their media space. So uh, this shelf that you see here is all of the uh, DVDs and video games that they now carry. And I did see a couple of video games in here. They had a copy of DDR Max 2 for the PlayStation 2, which I'm not interested in. A copy of Band Hero for the PlayStation 3, which I am also uh, not interested in. Wow, they have a lot of rhythm games here today. That's uh, kind of all they seem to have. I like this one because it's green. Uh, and then I also saw they had two Rock Band games here. So really sticking with the rhythm game theme. That's crazy. That's a lot of rhythm games. This DVD copy of Final Destination 3D had a lenticular cover that I liked. And way down to the bottom shelf here, I saw a non-rhythm game. Uh, we got Hitman 2 for the original Xbox with a EB Games sticker on it. I love collecting for the original Xbox and I don't have this game, but I'm, I'm really not that interested in it. I'm just not feeling it today. And I always like to check out the CDs, not only because I like CDs, but also sometimes you'll find a stray PlayStation 1 game in here. Uh, not today though, but we did find this map that appears to come from a video game because it has key bindings on it, maybe some kind of MMO. Uh, I'm not sure what this went with. If you guys recognize this, let me know because I'm kind of interested uh, in what this came from. They did have a copy of Dr. Dre's 2001, a freaking classic hip-hop album. I already have it on CD, so I'm not going to get it. And also this Franz Ferdinand album, which I like their first album more, so I'm not going to get this one either. I went to check out the electronics section just for fun, and I found these Monster Jam branded Bluetooth headphones that look like big tires. Uh, so that's cool. I bet these sound really, really good. And I actually noticed one more game in here before I left. They had a copy of Splashdown for the PlayStation 2 which uh, I was a little interested in this one. I maybe would have picked it up. It was complete with a manual, which was great. Uh, the disc, however, was pretty scratched up. It probably still work, but I don't know. That's looking pretty rough, so I think we're going to leave this one behind. So yeah, as you saw, that first Goodwill wasn't amazing or anything, uh, but there were still a few video games there, you know? There was a copy of Splashdown for the PlayStation 2 that was all scratched up. Uh, I feel like that's maybe still better than what, <laughs> what a lot of people are finding at their Goodwills. I don't know. And as we get deeper into this video, we'll see that we fart... We fart? And as we get deeper into this video, you'll see that we start finding more stuff. So don't go anywhere. We're going to hit up our second Goodwill of the day now, and uh, let's see what we can find. Let's do it. And here we are at Goodwill number two. I've had somewhat decent luck at this Goodwill before. I've definitely found video games here in the past, and this is just a nice Goodwill. I like it. Uh, it's a good location. It's usually not too busy in there. It's pretty clean and well organized, and they have a great selection of uh, uh, all kinds of stuff, including this mug that says Free Dobby. Uh, so yeah, that's that's cool. But we're not here to look at mugs. We're trying to find some video games. So let's see what they got here at uh, Goodwill number two. And yeah, they got some video games on the top shelf here. Ooh, actually some some more interesting stuff at this Goodwill. They had a copy of San Andreas here for uh, $4, which is usually games are $3 at my Goodwill. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Also, it was just Call of Duty 3 was the actual game in there. So that's that's great. They also had Grand Theft Auto 3 for the Xbox in this weird case. 
I recognize these. That's definitely a Hollywood video case. I've seen these before. Um, it is not complete. doesn't have the manual, which is not surprising because it's a video rental copy. And I already have this game, so we're not going to buy this weird uh, Hollywood video copy anyway. They also had Midnight Club 2 for the original Xbox. A lot of Rockstar games here today. Another weird Hollywood video copy that they were actually charging $5 for, which was too much. Uh, I don't have this, but I don't want to pay $5 for this weird copy. A few Wii games here as well. Pretty standard thrift store fare. Uh, they had Assassin's Creed Revelations for the Xbox 360, which I don't think I have, but I I struggled to get excited about this to even pay like 3 or $4 for it, so I, I'm not going to buy this one either. Honestly, even though I'm not picking any of these up, this is a pretty solid selection for Goodwill. And then way on the bottom shelf here, I saw something really interesting. They had a copy of New Super Mario Bros. Wii in the cool red uh, Wii case. And I actually don't have this. I don't have a ton of Wii games in my collection, so I think I'm... Oh, it's Mario Kart. Well, that's cool too. I'm gonna. I don't have Mario Kart either, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick this up. I guess it is a little scratched up, but I'm sure that'll still work. And it's like a twenty-five or thirty-dollar game now, so I think that's totally worth it. I'll take it to my local game store to get it resurfaced, and uh, that should be a lot of fun. Pretty good Goodwill pickup. And we gotta check out the CD section as well. Looking for PlayStation One games. Uh, didn't see anything here today. Was mostly just really annoyed that they started putting stickers on the spines of every CD, which they started doing that at all of my Goodwill locations. And it just makes it hard to read what's on the spine, and they're all $2 anyway, so I don't know why they started doing this. Over in the electronics section, I found a Telezapper, which is cool. I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, sometimes they have some really interesting, like, boxed vintage electronics over here. Like this uh, this Logitech serial mouse from, uh, you know, looks like maybe the late 80s or early 90s. They had it here for 5 bucks, And it's just a cool-looking mouse in this really cool-looking box. And uh, look at this freaking manual that it came with. It's absolutely insane. It's like a 150, 200 page manual that's just telling you how to use this mouse. Imagine that. It's real crazy to think about how much literature an old computer peripheral used to come with. And uh, yeah, the mouse wasn't actually even in this box. So it's just a $5 box with a manual inside it. And uh, it's probably just going to sit here on this shelf forever. Because uh, that's, that's Goodwill for you, you know? <gasps> Good one number two was definitely a lot stronger than the first one, in my opinion. Uh, I think especially those Grand Theft Auto games were pretty cool. Um, like I said, I already have those, so I didn't pick them up. But I think if you're like just starting out collecting and you go to a Goodwill and find a couple uh, Grand Theft Auto games, I think that's pretty awesome. I would be pretty stoked about that. I did end up picking up this copy of uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, it was $5, but the cashier ended up charging me 4 for some reason. Oh yeah, I forgot that this is actually, this is just Mario Kart. It's not even, <laughs> it's not even Super Mario Bros. Um, which is convenient because I have a Mario Kart case with no uh, copy of Mario Kart inside it. Don't ask, don't ask me why I have this. This is just stupid. But I happen to have this case for Mario Kart, so let's put in, uh, let's put in this disc. Let's put this Mario Kart disc into this case. Wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. So now I have a uh, still incomplete copy of Mario Kart because there's no manual in there, but at least I have the... <laughs> the disc in the case, you know? And then I also have this uh, this now empty case for New Super Mario Bros. Wii, so that's great. Maybe I'll find a, a different Nintendo game that has New Super Mario Bros. Wii in it, and then I can put that game into this case, and then I'll have another empty case, and uh, that's great. This is what game collecting is all about, you know? I feel pretty good about spending $4 on a copy of Mario Kart for the Wii. I have no problems with that at all. I think that's pretty cool. And it's time to go deeper down the rabbit hole to our third Goodwill of the day. Let's check it out and see if they have a Goodwill number three. Alrighty, Goodwill number three. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna hit big at this one. We're gonna do big numbers at this Goodwill. I'm gonna find at least uh, seven video games in this Goodwill. I can feel it. And uh, yeah, another nice spacious Goodwill. Uh, the problem is I started walking around and I could not find the media section. I I was having a real hard time figuring out where the the games and DVDs were. I walked around for a good five minutes and all I found was this uh, this media section that had CDs on one side and records on the other side. And I was starting to feel like maybe this Goodwill did not sell uh, movies or video games anymore. I was actually <laughs> I was actually a little concerned for a minute. But then I found it. It was just right by the front entrance, which I didn't think that's where it would be. Uh, they had a bunch of Stargate DVDs up here, which is cool. And a video game. They had Burnout for the PlayStation 2, which I don't have. And this is actually pretty freaking awesome. I have the other Burnout games for the original Xbox and the Xbox 360. I know this version came out on the Xbox, and I'd probably rather have that version, but I'm cool with the PlayStation 2 version. I don't know. And this game was $3, as it should be at a Goodwill. So I think we're going to go ahead and pick this one up. And unfortunately, that may be the only video game they have in this Goodwill. They did have a few Wii games here, but uh, nothing really that interesting. But let's check out the CDs and... Oh, crap. 
Uh, no PlayStation 1 games at this Goodwill either, but they did have this weird Pearl Jam CD and a type of uh, jewel case that I'd never seen before. It's kind of like a mix of a, a cardboard digit pack and a regular plastic jewel case. Uh, I guess they call it an eco pack. I don't know. It's weird. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought it was kind of cool. And we walked out of Goodwill number three with this copy of Burnout. Uh, I'm actually really stoked about this. I don't think I've ever played the original Burnout before. Um, I've played a lot of three and a lot of uh, Revenge. Is that what the one after three was called? So yeah, I'm somewhat familiar with this series, but I've just never played this first one. And uh, I like the uh, I like the look of this case. I like the artwork. I just like how uh, simple and basic it looks. I think it looks cool. I'm excited about this. I think this is a pretty cool $3 pickup for sure. Let me know if you guys would have picked this up for $3 at your Goodwill. I'm interested to see what other people think about these pickups so far. Okay, boys and girls, and now it's time for the big one. This last Goodwill that we go to had a ton of stuff, and I was really, really excited to see a lot of the games that they had at this Goodwill. Um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Stick around, and I'll show you guys what I picked up at Goodwill number four. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> Alrighty folks, we're at our last Goodwill of the day here, and uh, this one we actually do find some good stuff. I, I promise. I promise there will be a good haul from this Goodwill. Uh, let's head inside and, oh, let's throw away the Taco Bell bag first, and then let's head inside and see, uh, holy crap, that was some shaky footage. And at this particular Goodwill, they keep all of their video games on this weird angular shelf. And uh, right off the bat, I spied out a copy of Bulletstorm Epic Edition for the Xbox 360. Uh, that's kind of cool. I already have this game. Bulletstorm's great. It's a, it's a fun time. And I also saw they had a copy of Project Gotham Racing, Platinum Pits Edition for the original Xbox. Possibly the most uh, common original Xbox game you can find. A uh, nice complete copy, but I don't need it. I already have it. A couple of crappy sports games down here. And then on the other side, I wanted to see what was in this Xbox One case. Potentially a rare Xbox One game. No, it's NHL 18. Uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a couple of Sims games and it looks like some PC games as you go further down. So uh, maybe nothing that interesting yet, but uh, hang tight. We'll find some cool stuff in a little bit here. Sometimes I find video games on just their regular media shelves. So we had to check that out. I saw they had a copy of Shark Tale for the original Xbox, which is, uh, that's great. That's a video game, I guess. It's a nice complete copy. Maybe somebody will want this copy of Shark Tale, but not me. Uh, they had Zoo Tycoon for the Xbox 360. This is actually kind of cool. I like Tycoon games, and I like them, especially when they're on the Xbox 360, because I think the Xbox 360 is cool. And uh, this is a really clean copy, so I think we're going to pick this one up for sure. And I spotted one more Xbox 360 game over here. They had Dead Island Riptide, which I don't think I have, and it's another uh, decent-looking copy, so we might grab this one as well. And I'm hopelessly looking through the CD section again, trying to find a PlayStation 1 game, feeling a little dejected, because I haven't really found anything that cool at my Goodwills today. Uh, but you know what? We come back to this exact same Goodwill the next day, and holy crap, they restocked their video games, and there was like a ton of interesting stuff in here. Right on top, we had Sonic Colors for the Wii, which I'm a little interested in, but I'm not like the biggest Sonic fan. I'm more interested in this copy of Command & Conquer 3 for the Xbox 360. I think RTS games on the 360 are cool and interesting, and this one was a little scuffed up, but not too bad. They had Skyrim Legendary Edition for the 360. Always a good pickup. I think this is like a $10 or $15 game now. They had a couple uh, Xbox One games that weren't that interesting. They had a copy of Guitar Hero 2 for the 360, which is a great freaking version of Guitar Hero 2. I already have it, unfortunately. They had Forza 3 for the 360, which I already have this as well, but that's a great racing game. In this blank Xbox 360 case, there was a copy of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U, which is really weird. I was not expecting this to be the game that was in that blank case. They had NHL Hits 2003, which I am absolutely going to buy. I think I passed on this in another video, and then people told me I should get it. It does look pretty cool, and also this dude looks like freaking Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 3. Another game that's looking a little scuffed up, but that'll definitely work, and I'll get that one resurfaced as well. Um, yeah, not a bad pickup for three bucks. They had another Sonic game here, Sonic and the Secret Rings for the Wii. Uh, I might get it, but I'm not that interested in it. Uh, Fusion Frenzy 2 there, and then way on the bottom here, something pretty freaking awesome. Uh, the Thing for the PlayStation 2. I really, really like this game. I'd love to have the PS2 version, so I'm definitely picking this up. And that was only one side. We've got a whole other side of this shelf to cover. So they got a Harry Potter game. We have Injustice for the 360. Uh, both fairly interesting. Uh, a couple more things up here. They had Skate 3 for the Xbox 360. Freaking classic. And oh my goodness, what do we have here? Eternal Sonata for the Xbox 360. I've definitely never seen this at a Goodwill. So we're definitely going to grab this one. And then also Ready to Rumble Boxing. Round 2 looks pretty cool. If it wasn't just a copy of Test Drive 4, that would have been great. And then also this Bakugan game looks kind of interesting. I don't really know much about the series, but um, yeah, we might pick this one up too. We'll see. Yeah, man, that was awesome. Very, very substantial haul from that final Goodwill. Um, a lot of cool stuff there, as you can see. 
Um, a lot of things that I would not expect to find at a Goodwill normally. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys everything that I picked up really quick. Uh, so we grabbed this copy of NHL Hits 2003. Um, I've never played this game, but I do like NFL Blitz a lot. And you can see I have it running in the background here, which is pretty cool. Um, and I don't even like care about hockey that much, but I just like really goofy arcadey sports games. I think they're a lot of fun. Um, so I'm really excited to finally check this one out. And uh, for three bucks, this is a really solid pickup. I think this goes for more in the 15 to $20 range now. And it's a nice complete copy. Some of these were a little scratched up, as you could see in that earlier footage, but it's nothing that won't buff out at a resurfacer. Um, and I think all of them are totally gonna work anyway. So um, I will get them resurfaced, but I'm not like super duper concerned about it either way. We also grabbed Dead Island Riptide and the Zoo Tycoon. Um, I only ended up paying $1.50 for each of these because they were half off. Um, so it was $3 for both of these. And you know, these aren't like crazy amazing pickups or anything, but um, they're both Xbox 360 games that I don't have that I was interested in adding to the collection. So I'm totally happy to pick them up for $3 total. I think I'm more excited for Zoo Tycoon than Dead Island Riptide, honestly. Um, I really like these uh, these Tycoon games. I think they're a lot of fun. And Zoo Tycoon seems like it'd be a good one because I like animals and I like going to the zoo. So I'm sure this will be a good time. We grabbed this copy of Command & Conquer 3. Uh, Tiberium Wars, which I'm very excited about. The last Command & Conquer game that I played was Generals on the PC. I'm not sure what year that came out, but it was definitely uh, like way before this one. This game came out in 2007. I think Generals came out in the early 2000s maybe, but I've always wanted to check out some of these later uh, Command & Conquer games, especially on the Xbox 360, because I'm just very intrigued by real-time strategy games on the Xbox 360. It seems like there were kind of a lot of them that came out on the 360. Maybe Halo Wars was the game that paved the way for more of these types of games to come out on the 360. I don't know, but it's kind of an interesting thing either way. And uh, yeah, I've always wanted to check this out. I think it looks like a lot of fun. And uh, again, not a bad $3 pickup. I think that's pretty solid. And now we're getting to the crazy ones. Uh, we grabbed Eternal Sonata, which is like a $25 to $30 game now. I think this one uh, spiked recently with all of the other uh, Xbox 360 games that spiked in value. And I'm sure this is a JRPG just from looking at it. It looks like it's probably a JRPG. And uh, you know, I've talked about JRPGs before on this channel. I like JRPGs. I like the idea of playing them. I don't often start them because they're so freaking long and I get uh, scared. I get scared of starting them and then not finishing them. But, uh, you know, honestly, I think that's kind of a lame reason not to play these. I think you should start playing a game even if you don't think you'll be able to finish it. I think it's totally valid to start up a game and just see what it's all about and not have intention of finishing it. I think I need to be uh, a little more open-minded about doing that these days, especially as you get in your 30s. You just don't have as much time to play games anymore as you used to. Um, and that's fine, you know, that's just part of life. And yeah, another nice complete copy. This disc was actually looking pretty solid, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, really, really good $3 pickup. Not a game I would ever expect to see at Goodwill. And last but not least, we have this copy of The Thing for the PlayStation 2. The Thing is a really, really cool game. I've played it on the original Xbox, and uh, I actually have a copy on the original Xbox. So this wasn't something that I really needed to put in the collection, but I really, really like this game. So I thought it'd be cool to have it on the PlayStation 2 as well. And this is kind of a weird copy. Um, it is complete, which is great. And it's, uh, the disc is like a little scratched up, but it's pretty okay. Um, it's not in an original PS2 case. Uh, it seems like it's from a video rental store. Um, and this artwork has uh, stickers on it for sure. So let's take this out and look at it. Yeah, so whatever uh, video rental store this came from, put these stickers directly on the artwork, uh, which sucks, but you know, it's it was a $3 pickup from Goodwill. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about that. I would really like to get this sticker off. Um, I think you might be able to with a hairdryer. Um, I feel like you might be able to get that off. So we're gonna attempt to do that. And then I'm gonna put it in a uh, original OEM case. Um, just so it's a nicer copy because this is a more valuable game i would like to have a nicer copy of it if possible but again i wasn't gonna pass on it for three dollars just because there were some stickers on it i think that would have been uh stupid but yeah so that's my uh that's my haul from goodwill here's the stuff from that last goodwill and then here's everything with the other two i picked up and uh i checked on price charting this is about 150 dollars worth of stuff um so no that's not just a clickbait title uh this really is like actually about $150 worth of video games these days, which is crazy. Uh, this doesn't really feel like $150 stack to me, but I guess it is according to price charting. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty nuts. And that about does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like the Goodwill themed content. I'm probably gonna be making more uh, stuff like this where I go to Goodwills just because uh, collecting is getting real expensive and I still like going to Goodwill to look for stuff. So I'm probably gonna make videos about it um, as much as I can, just cause I like finding cheap games at Goodwill. It's, it's always a blast. But let me know what you guys have been finding at your Goodwills lately. Have you found a stack like this at your Goodwill lately? I would love to hear if you have, I think that's awesome. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel, it helps with the algorithm, it helps more people see these videos. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm Collector John, we'll see you guys in the next one.